So, call the jack from standing. Okay. The fuel starts like this. You get your grips here, here. Okay. Very difficult for me to try to get the legs. If I just let go and even snap them down and try to get the leg to push it your way, I can't do that. Okay. I want to try to maybe get some sort of a judo hook here. He pushes me away. Okay. And he doesn't really leave much. And then you end up with this whole push pull, push pull type of process. Okay. Uh, I call this the Travis grip. It's a conventional grip for uh, judo, but Travis uh, Clark has shown me how to use it fairly effectively to set up the uh, movement of another person because it's a good way to break posture. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my hand behind his neck right here, okay? Or my thumb is behind his neck. This hand goes in here, okay, while I'm grabbing him with a strap right here. And then you just pull forward with the left and down with the right hand. And you're snapping them down. Okay. What happens is they'll want to probably posture up where you have this cross collar grip. Okay. And then you're going to go for a collar drag. Collar drag is stepping out this way and tripping. The second I step in, my left hand is going to hook his leg. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing off of guard. So I'm going here, here, here. As I go here, I'm going to drive into his shoulder and my forehead to get to this north south matrix. Okay, let's go one more time. Over here, over here. <coughs> grip's constantly moving here, 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 got this grip here. And constantly getting into north south. Okay, so that's a standard collar drag off of uh, standing position. So, what we're gonna do is we're now gonna move it down a little bit to guard and let you guys practice it so you don't have to. Do it from standing yet, okay? So, I have them in close guard right here, okay? This thing I like to do is always put a little pelt out, break his posture, get cross collar grip right here. Same kind of position here, okay? I'm gonna, you know, on the hips, I'm gonna push him away here. He postures up, my foot goes to his knee here. I'm gonna tilt and, cause I wanna, it's still the north side. Okay. <coughs> the key to this is to move out of his way so that he can fall, literally forward. You have to move out of his way. As we're here, focus posture here, got a grip here, here, and I'm gonna go to open my guard, get on the hips, and I'm gonna push him away and sit up. Typically they posture up, so you have a small window of opportunity. My right foot, goes to his left thigh, and both hands come off this way. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my right foot as a step, and I'm gonna use the left foot and left hand as a base to switch my hips from left side to right side. So I'm gonna go from here, one, two, and I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna bump him and still sit on the saddle and get to the north south major. So the key here is to move out of the way and scoot your hips. Here. We're gonna start it like this. We have the collar here, we have a sleeve here. Okay. Feet go here. Good. Yeah. So your feet on the hips, elbow here. So from here, right foot drops to his thigh and I do, and I want to pull myself that way. So over here, one, two, as I pull in, I push and I lift using this as like a tricep extension so I can begin to get up, okay? And I'm gonna get to the north-south matrix to sit on the saddle. From here, you guys will have what to do. But right now, we're talking about the call. We're gonna start like this. Feet on the hips, collar. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling him in because whenever you pull posture, they want to posture up. So here, you've got to make sure that this is tight enough because I tried it with you and your gi was so loose that the gi had too much slack and your gi just pulled over your head, yeah. okay? Which is a good strategy, okay? So here I go, one. Okay, so one, two, and I lean forward. So it's foot thigh, Hand heel mat, 
and I'm gonna scoop this way. Okay, see I switch, and as I pull him, I'm gonna pull him right here. I don't wanna do this. So I don't wanna be laying here, okay? Doing that, okay? Because I'm here to get to the top. So you need to sit up when you pull. Feet on the hips. Nice collar grip here. Foot on the thigh. I'll be from the other end. And you tilt forward to the left, both hand and heel. And I just scoot this way. I pull and I pull as I lift up. He's gonna wanna come up so that bump him here. Him posturing up helps me come up because I'm extending the tricep and he's gonna help my upper body come up. The reality of it is, you want to take their face and point it in the mat. So when you're getting collar drag, you got to catch your face or else it's going to eat the mat. And that's not going to be fun. But it'll be a good lesson, better than the front. Okay? So as we're here, foot, thigh, and I tilt forward. See, I'm on my left hip and I'm going to hop up and switch. I'm using his thigh and my right foot as a step to lift myself like this so I can scoot my hip out. Okay? So, feet, hips. Grip, foot, thigh like a monkey paw, and lean forward, hip up, and pull. Okay. He's gonna posture up, which will help me get up stand. Okay? So you have to replicate what you would do, because you probably, if you did this, you wouldn't just freeze here, because you'd probably want to get up somehow. Because this right here helps the top person's hand push their upper body up. Does that make sense, guys? So one more time. You want to see it from full cycle. Here, collar, quick as posture, he postures up, but on the hip, hip, oh, sorry. However you get to that north-south, you get to that north-south. Does that make sense? The key is you pull them forward and you get out of the way. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, three. <coughs> What's your name? Everyone.